So our intern on labor delivery today just came to us saying that when he checked the patient's cervix um, because they were feeling pressure, um, he felt teeth. So um, we went to go see what was going on and this is what we found. So the patient is completely dilated, but the baby has a face presentation. So this is a face presentation when the forehead to the chin is what's presenting, coming as the presenting part through the cervix uh, or in the vagina now that the cervix is gone because she's completely dilated. What he was feeling was the palate um, when he was trying to figure out what his landmarks were um, of the fetus, which felt to him like teeth. So this is a picture of if you stripped all the soft tissue away and just had the pelvis and the, the baby coming through the uh, cervix with the cervix completely dilated this is what a face presentation would look like now a face presentation can either be chin up or chin down and that makes a difference and i'll explain in a second so i confirmed with an ultrasound that indeed the baby was face presentation with the neck what we call hyperflexed like this and the chin is pointing up and slightly to the patient's maternal patient's um, right side Here's another picture of the different types of face presentation and the way this baby is presenting is the one here in the middle with uh, the right mentum anterior uh, towards the maternal right side. And mentum means chin. Face presentation occurs in about one in 600 to one in 800 deliveries. About 60% of face presentations are chin or mentum up. About 25% are chin or mentum down, and about and the rest are about 15% uh, are mentum or chin transverse, meaning off to the side. About 75% of the patients whose babies are mentum anterior will deliver vaginally. What I decided to do with this patient, um, they are completely dilated, but I'm putting them in a certain position and also with a peanut ball to see if I can facilitate a little bit more rotation of that baby's head and allow it to come down into the pelvis uh, a little bit lower before we start pushing to see if that will facilitate a vaginal delivery. We're gonna do that for about 30 to 40 minutes. Those patients whose fetuses are chin down or mentum posterior, um, those babies cannot deliver vaginally. So a cesarean section is often done, but if the baby is doing fine on the monitor and the patient is fine, there can be some passive descent to see if position change or using a peanut ball can actually rotate that uh, fetal face and fetal head to a more favorable position. But that's totally dependent on the status of both the fetus and the, the patient. Prior to 1955, there was an increased rate of intrapartum fetal death as well as perinatal mortality for those babies who had a face presentation. And that was up to 10% of those babies, which is very high. By the 1980s, that rate had decreased to 2-3%, to largely due to uh, using cesarean delivery to deliver those patients. Did you or someone you know have a face presentation during labor and delivery? Tell me in the comments.